The world of aviation is on the brink of a major transformation, with cutting-edge engine technology poised to redefine the way we fly. From powerful electric propulsion to innovative hybrid systems, these engines represent the next step in eco-friendly, efficient, and high-speed air travel. Join me, I'm going to unveil 15 engines that are set to revolutionize aviation forever. Let's begin with number 15, the Rolls-Royce Ultrafan. The Rolls-Royce Ultrafan represents a remarkable leap in aero engine technology, poised to redefine the aviation landscape with this cutting-edge feature and capability. This advanced propulsion system is designed to power a wide range of commercial craft, from narrow-body to wide-body jets, offering great performance, fuel efficiency, and environmental sustainability. At the heart of the Ultrafan's innovation is its high-bypass ratio design. With a ratio higher than previous generations of engines, it efficiently directs a significant portion of air coming in around the engine core, reducing fuel consumption and emissions. This in turn leads to a substantial reduction in an aircraft's carbon footprint. It incorporates an innovative geared architecture that optimizes the rotation speeds of both the fan and the core engine, resulting in enhanced fuel efficiency. In terms of power, the Ultrafan is expected to deliver significantly higher thrust compared to its predecessors, making it capable of powering a wide array of aircraft sizes and missions. Furthermore, Rolls-Royce has designed the Ultrafan to be a modular engine, which simplifies maintenance and reduces downtime for airlines. This feature enhances reliability, cost-effectiveness, and overall operational efficiency. Number 14. F-130 Dual Pod Engine Rolls-Royce, they unveiled yet another game-changing engine, their F-130 Dual Pod Engine. Now, these dual pods are designed to replace the U.S. Air Force's B-52H Stratoforces fleet of TF-33 engines in a dual pod configuration. This engine testing is taking place at part of the Air Force's B-52 Commercial Engine Replacement Program at NASA's Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. The current phase of testing focuses on crosswind aerodynamic flow and the functionality of the engine's digital control system. Now, this marks the first time these F-130 engines have been tested in their intended dual-pod configuration, which aligns with the modernization plan. The path to this point has included wind tunnel testing carried out by Boeing in the prior year using a model of the re-engined B-52. This testing aimed to ensure that the new engine configuration is compatible with the B-52's aging airframe, which is essential for a successful modernization effort. To accommodate the higher bypass of the F-130 turbofan, Spirit Aerosystems is supplying newer and larger engine nacelles, which had to be positioned closer to the wing due to their larger diameter. So it is safe to say that this new and improved B-52 is going to change a lot when it comes to aviation. Number 13, the F-414 GE-100, or the X-59. The F-414 GE-100 engine is not only a technological marvel, but also a key player in the future of aviation, and NASA's X-59 Quiet Supersonic Technology, or QSST aircraft. This thing was created by the wizards at General Electric Aviation. It's a masterpiece of propulsion technology. It's a twin-spool axial flow turbofan engine equipped with a digital engine control system, ensuring performance and efficiency. It's like having a high-tech brain in a brawny body. It provides up to 22,000 pounds of thrust in afterburner mode, catapulting the Super Hornet into supersonic realms. It's the engine equivalent of strapping a rocket to a race car. The engine isn't just about power, it is about sheer speed. It propels the Super Hornet to a blistering Mach 1.8, slicing through the skies with grace and precision. NASA's X-59 QSST project is all about supersonic flight. This engine isn't directly connected to the X-59, but it represents a linchpin in supersonic aviation tech. The lessons learned from engines like the F-414 contribute to the future of quieter, faster, and more efficient supersonic travel, the likes of which us mere mortals have never seen. Number 12. CFM International RISE CFM International RISE, short for Revolutionary Innovation for Sustainable Engines, is not just an engine. It is the ultimate international collaboration in aviation tech. RISE is a joint venture between America GE Aerospace and French Safran Aircraft Designs, coming together with a mission to redefine how we move through the air. RISE is not your ordinary engine. It's an open-rotor marvel currently in development by CFM International. Now, what sets it apart? Well, it's designed to embrace both hydrogen and sustainable aviation fuels, making it a pioneer in eco-friendly aviation. The project began to rise in the 1970s during the oil crisis, when soaring oil prices prompted engine manufacturers to seek new ways to reduce fuel consumption. 
This quest led to the exploration of open rotor or prop fan engines. However, these designs didn't make it into production aircrafts due to various challenges, including concerns over noise levels. The RISE program officially took flight in June of 2021, with grand plans to succeed the CFM Leap 1 turbofan engine. It's aspiring to enter service in the mid-2030s, marking a significant milestone in aviation history. July 2022 at the Farnborough Air Show, where CFM International and Airbus unveiled their plans for RISE. Flight tests are on the horizon with an Airbus A380 based test bed, set to take to the skies in 2026. Number 11. An Air Breathing Rocket all right, time to take a deep breath. The Mojave Air and Spaceport, a hub for aerospace trailblazers, sits in the California desert, where dreamers converge to turn aviation fantasies into reality. Among these pioneers, Aaron Davis and Scott Stegman arrived at the airfield in 2019 with a vision of a revolutionary propulsion system named Fenris, an air-breathing rocket engine that could make space travel affordable. Fenris represents a blend of rocket power and jet engine efficiency, offering a unique solution to the cost conundrum of reaching space. Unlike conventional rocket engines laden with heavy fuel tanks, air-breathing rocket motors draw their oxidizer directly from the atmosphere. This innovation reduces the propellant required and, in theory, it slashes space access costs. Historically, rocket and jet engines have been combined in stages, but Fenris aims to merge these systems into one efficient engine. The concept of a single stage to orbit rocket has long eluded engineers due to the tyranny of the rocket equation, where more propellant means a heavier rocket and reduced efficiency. However, Fenris's air-breathing engines could break that cycle by leveraging their efficiency earlier in the launch and switching to rocket power at higher altitudes. Aaron Davis, founder of Mountain Aerospace Research Solutions, embarked on the Fenris project in 2018, aiming to prove that air-breathing rocket engines were viable. While previous attempts by NASA and giants like Rolls-Royce had faltered due to cost and technical hurdles, Davis was undeterred. With Scott Stegman's technical expertise, they brought Fenris to life. Their Mojave test marked a significant milestone, where Fenris, though not powerful enough for space travel, demonstrated its ability to pull in air, ignite fuel, and produce flames without self-destruction. Their next challenge is pushing Fenris to its limits in a Wyoming missile silo, aiming to achieve over 600 seconds of specific impulse, a measure of propulsion efficiency. Number 10. Progress Eagle all right, fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to embark on a thrilling journey into the world of aviation, guided by the beacon of innovation known as Progress Eagle. This aircraft just isn't a plane. It's a glimpse into the future of flight, sprinkled with a dash of audacity and a pinch of whimsy. The Progress Eagle, with its futuristic design, it draws inspiration from nature's aviators while rewriting the rules of modern aviation. Now, what sets it apart from its contemporaries is its revolutionary engine, something that completely defies convention. Now, this engine, nicknamed the Aerofusion Drive, is a fusion of a jet and rocket. It combines the efficiency of a jet engine with the raw power of a rocket motor, creating a propulsion system unlike any other. At its core, this engine leverages the principles of air-breathing propulsion, much like a jet engine. However, it doesn't stop there. When the Progress Eagle reaches the upper reaches of the atmosphere, where the air becomes thinner, it seamlessly transitions to rocket mode, unleashing thrust and velocity. During takeoff and ascent, it operates as a jet engine, efficiently sipping on onboard fuel while propelling the aircraft forward. Now, this versatility means the Progress Eagle can carry heavier payloads and fly longer distances, making it a game-changer in aviation. When it's time to reach for the stars, the engine ignites its rocket component, delivering an exhilarating boost in speed. It's like having the best of both worlds, the efficiency of a jet for the journey and the raw power of a rocket for reaching space. With the Aerofusion Drive at its core, this aircraft could revolutionize how we travel beyond our atmosphere, turning us all into the Jetsons, hopefully. Number 9. F-135 Block 4 The F-135 Block 4 engine is a cutting-edge, high-performance aircraft power plant developed by Pratt & Whitney for the F-35 Lightning II, one of the world's most advanced multi-role fighter aircraft. This fourth-generation variant of the F-135 engine brings in several critical improvements, making it a pivotal component in enhancing the capabilities of the F-35. The standout feature of the Block 4 is its substantially increased thrust capability. 
This upgrade translates to higher speeds, improved climb rates, and enhanced overall performance for the F-35. Now, despite its increased power, the Block 4 engine maintains the F-35's essential and trademark stealth characteristics. It operates efficiently while preserving the aircraft's low radar cross-section, ensuring it that it can continue to operate in contested airspace without compromising its stealth. The Block 4 is designed with cost-effectiveness in mind. Now, this enhanced efficiency contributes to lower life cycle costs for the F-35 program. This makes it practical and economic, and it's a choice for military forces aligning with the need for responsible budgeting in defense operations. Notably, it features advanced cooling systems for turbine blades. These innovations significantly extend the engine's operational lifespan, and they reduce maintenance requirements. Pratt & Whitney's introduction of the F-135 Growth Option 1 represents a significant milestone, too. Now, this upgrade delivers substantial benefits, including a 6-10% to improvement in thrust across the F-35's flight envelope and a commendable 5-6% to reduction in fuel burn. The upgrade involves replacing the power module in older engines and seamlessly integrating it into future production engines. The F-35 Lightning II remains at the forefront of modern air combat, and the new and improved F-135 Block IV engine is only going to make it harder to keep up with. Number 8. Hybrid Thermally Efficient Core Project NASA's Hybrid Thermally Efficient Core Project, or HITECH, is a jet to usher in a new era of air travel while addressing climate change concerns. This groundbreaking initiative is a collaboration between NASA and Pratt & Whitney, a pioneering aerospace company headquartered in Hartford, Connecticut. The project signifies a significant step towards cleaner, more efficient, and sustainable commercial flight. At the core of the high-tech project lies the transformation of aircraft engine combustors, the vital components responsible for fuel combustion. They facilitate the addition of fuel to compressed air, initiating combustion and generating this high-temperature gas that propel the engine. Through cutting-edge research and development, NASA and Pratt & Whitney aim to revolutionize this critical element of aviation tech. One of the project's objectives is the evaluation of these advanced combustor designs in conjunction with sustainable fuels. This forward-looking approach emphasizes the importance of eco-friendly propulsion solutions. Hitech sets the stage for a future where aviation operates on renewable resources rather than fossil fuels. This shift towards sustainability aligns with global efforts to reduce carbon emissions. The overarching vision of the Hitech project extends beyond improving combustor efficiency. It does aspire to create highly efficient jet engines that will underpin the future of sustainable aviation. Additionally, the project aims to advance electrified propulsion systems for single-aisle commercial aircraft, ushering in a new era of eco-conscious air travel. The entire project sounds like a difficult, massive leap forward, but when you have NASA teaming up with the likes of Pratt & Whitney, well, the sky's the limit. Moving on to number 7, Sugar Volt. The subsonic ultra-green aircraft research, or the Sugar Volt, is like a sweet breath of fresh air in the world of aviation, promising a cleaner, greener, and more electrifying future. This concept, developed by NASA, is not your average aircraft. It's the next step in aviation evolution. At the core of the Sugar Volt's prowess lies its cutting-edge propulsion. Now, this isn't your grandpa's engine. It's a hybrid electric marvel that blends traditional jet power with the zing of electric motors. Here's what makes it stand out. This thing has a hybrid electric setup, where the jet engines team up with electric motors. Now, these motors get their juice from high-tech batteries, giving the aircraft a boost during takeoff and climb. This translates to huge fuel efficiency and a smaller carbon footprint. Now, to make this magic happen, the Sugar Volt relies on some serious wizardry. These batteries are the lifeblood of the electric motors, storing and delivering the power needed to turn the propellers. Now, they're designed to be lightweight yet high capacity, making them perfect for high-flying adventures. What's even cooler about this thing is its flexibility. The jet engines and electric motors can team up or fly solo, depending on what the aircraft needs. During those critical takeoff and climbing phases, the electric motors lend in their muscle, reducing carbon emissions and keeping the noise down. Now, this means not only a cleaner planet, but happier communities living near airports. Today, the Sugar Volt is still cooking in the lab, but when these green engines fire up, it's going to be a big deal. Number 6. Double Bubble D8 the Double Bubble D-8 is a revolutionary concept in the world of commercial aviation, designed to transform the passenger experience and the industry's environmental footprint. Developed by a team of researchers led by Professor Mark Drelum, the Double Bubble D-8 aims to deliver significant improvements in fuel efficiency, noise reduction, and passenger comfort. 
In the thick of it is the innovative and unique double bubble fuselage design. Unlike conventional aircraft with a single cylindrical fuselage, the D-8 features a dual fuselage configuration, resembling two bubbles placed side by side. This double bubble shape allows for a wider cabin, providing increased passenger capacity without really compromising any comfort. The streamlined shape of the D-8 minimizes aerodynamic drag, leading to improved efficiency. This means fewer carbon emissions and lower operating costs. It's designed to be powered by advanced open-rotor engines. Now, these next-generation engines are more fuel-efficient than traditional turbofans, thanks to their innovative prop fan technology. Open-rotor engines have large counter-rotating blades that generate thrust with greater efficiency. These engines are known for their impressive efficiency, making them a key component in the D-8's mission to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The double bubble D8 places a strong emphasis on passenger comfort and environmental stewardship. One significant advantage of this open rotor engine is their reduced noise level compared to traditional jet engines. This innovation addresses the issue of noise pollution around airports, providing a quieter flying experience for passengers and minimizing disturbances for communities. Number 5. The GE-9X the GE-9X is a groundbreaking and colossal aircraft engine developed by General Electric Aviation, designed to propel the next generation of wide-body commercial aircraft into the skies. The development of the GE-9X began in the early 2010s as a successor to the highly successful GE-90 engine series. It aimed to set new standards in terms of fuel efficiency, performance, and environmental impact. It's taken well over a decade to refine the engine, getting it all just right. The GE-9X is a massive and high-bypass turbofan engine. Now, its power and size makes it one of the largest aircraft engines in existence, designed to meet the demands of long-haul flights on wide-body aircraft. It's the exclusive power plant for the Boeing 777X series, which includes the Boeing 7778 and 779. These aircraft are known for their increased passenger capacity, extended range, and advanced features. Now, one of the standout features is the high bypass ratio, which indicates the amount of air that bypasses the core of the engine compared to the air that goes through it. A high bypass ratio is a hallmark of fuel-efficient engines, as it signifies the engine's ability to generate thrust with less fuel. The GE-9X is an absolute beast. It generates a thrust of approximately 105,000 pounds, making it one of the most powerful commercial aircraft engines in the world. Now, fuel efficiency is paramount in concern for modern aviation, and the GE-9X addresses this challenge head-on. It's designed to offer a significant improvement in fuel efficiency compared to its predecessors. Perhaps most importantly, though, the GE-9X incorporates advanced technology to reduce emissions, aligning with the aviation industry's commitment to sustainability. Now, these innovations include a lean-burn combustion system and other environmentally friendly features. Number 4. CFM International LEAP the Leading Edge Aviation Propulsion Engine, or LEAP Engine, stands to be the rock star of the aviation world, setting the stage for a performance that's both revolutionary and highly sophisticated. Crafted through the dynamic partnership of GE Aviation and Safran Aircraft Engines, this turbofan engine has not only raised the bar, but it's also crafted a new tune for efficiency, performance, and environmental responsibility. It all began in the mid-2000s, a time when aviation was ripe for change. The LEAP engine entered the scene with a clear mission to surpass the renowned CFM 56 engine series. A major standout for this giant leap forward is the high bypass ratio. Think of it as the engine's secret ingredient that sets it apart from the rest. Now, this ingenious design doesn't just reduce fuel consumption, it also minimizes noise, making it a bit more eco friendly and passenger friendly. But what's under the hood? While well, the LEAP engine incorporates advanced materials like lightweight composite and ceramics, these materials enhance performance and durability while keeping the engine's weight in check. Fuel efficiency is at the heart of the LEAP engine, delivering significant savings for airlines. And we can't overlook the power capability. This engine can generate thrust ranging from 28 to 35,000 pounds of force. But what truly sets the LEAP engine apart is its commitment to environmental responsibility. It incorporates cutting-edge tech, including advanced combustion systems and emission-reducing components. The LEAP engine finds its home in various commercial aircraft. The LEAP 1A powers the Airbus A320neo family, known for its fuel efficiency, extended range, and comfort. And the LEAP 1B is the engine for the Boeing 737 MAX series. Finally, the LEAP 1C is at the forefront of the Comac C919, a narrow-body aircraft designed for global competition. Number 3. E-Fan X 
The E-Fan X is a collaborative project between Airbus, Rolls-Royce, and Siemens with a groundbreaking endeavor in the world of electric aviation, and its engine was at the heart of its pioneering aircraft. This innovative hybrid electric propulsion system marked a significant step towards cleaner and sustainable air travel. Now, at the heart of this propulsion system was a remarkable combination of traditional and electric engines. The aircraft was equipped with its power sources, a conventional jet engine, two electric motors, and a generator. Now, the conventional jet engine, often referred to as a donor engine, served as the source of electrical power. In this case, the donor engine was a modified Rolls-Royce AE2100, a turboprop engine known for its reliability. The electric component of the E-Fan X was equally impressive. It featured two Siemens electric motors, each capable of producing 2.5 megawatts. They were powered by a generator connected to the donor engine, making the E-Fan X a hybrid electric aircraft. During normal cruising flight, the E-Fan X relied primarily on the conventional engine, similar to traditional aircraft. However, during the most fuel-intensive phase of flight, the takeoff and climb, the electric motors kicked in to provide extra thrust. While the E-Fan X was a technological marvel, it was also a practical demonstration of the aviation industry's commitment to reducing carbon emissions. Electric propulsion systems are inherently more environmentally friendly than traditional jet engines, as they produce zero emissions during operation. While this project was eventually discontinued in 2020, its legacy lives on with almost every future engine. Number 2. Adaptive Engine Transition Program the Adaptive Engine Transition Program, or AETP, could very well be the next step in the world of military aviation, with a focus on developing next-gen engines that are both adaptive and transformative in their capabilities. One of the key aspects of this program is the development of those adaptive engines, which are designed to provide unprecedented flexibility and versatility. These engines feature adaptive components such as variable cycle technology, which allows them to optimize their performance based on the specific mission requirements. This program has several primary objectives, with the most prominent being increased thrust and fuel efficiency. This boost in thrust is crucial for achieving higher speeds and maintaining a tactical advantage in aerial combat. Moreover, these engines are engineered to be more fuel efficient, reducing the overall operational costs of fighter aircraft. One of the key technologies incorporated into the AETP engines is adaptive fan and inlet designs. These components dynamically adjust their configurations during flight, optimizing airflow and pressure ratios to achieve performance. This adaptability ensures that the engine operates efficiently across a wide range of flight conditions. The program also emphasizes the development of three-stream engine technology. Now, this innovation involves the incorporation of an additional separate stream of air into the engine, which can be controlled independently. This third stream provides enhanced cooling for the engine, allowing it to operate at higher temps and pressures, ultimately resulting in increased thrust and efficiency. Number 1. Hypersonic Engines All right, here it is, the future of propulsion, the future of speed, and the future of flight. In the realm of aerospace engineering, where the sky is not the limit but merely the beginning, hypersonic engines stand as the torchbearers of speed and innovation. These engines are capable of propelling aircraft at astonishing velocities exceeding Mach 5. Why do we need hypersonic engines? Well, it's all about saving time and exploring new horizons. Imagine traveling from New York to London in less than an hour, or hopping across continents faster than you can finish your in-flight snack. Hypersonic engines hold the promise of revolutionizing not only civilian travel, but also military operations, space exploration, and more. At the heart of these hypersonic engines lie a symphony of cutting-edge tech. These engines use scramjet propulsion, a fancy term for supersonic combustion ramjets. Unlike traditional jet engines, these scramjets don't carry their own oxidizer. They scoop up the oxygen they need from the atmosphere, making them efficient at high speeds. Now, to achieve this mind-boggling, eye-popping, and brain-busting speed, hypersonic engines rely on hydrogen as their fuel of choice. Hydrogen's high energy density and efficiency in scramjet combustion make it the best candidate for propelling aircraft at hypersonic speeds. This choice of fuel not only powers the engine, but also releases only water vapor as exhaust, making it environmentally friendly, too. With great speed comes great heat. The extreme temperatures generated by hypersonic flight demand materials that can withstand heat and pressure. Engineers turn to cutting-edge composite materials, ceramics, and advanced alloys to ensure the engine components can endure scorching conditions. Hypersonic engines aren't just about breaking speed records. They're also about opening up new frontiers in space exploration. Engineers contend with shock waves, extreme pressures, and the complexities of air compression to make spaceflight more accessible and even more eco-friendly. 
While commercial hypersonic flights are still a long way off on the horizon, they promise to transform how we think about air travel. Imagine zipping across the globe in a fraction of the time it takes today, making day trips across oceans a routine affair. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you to our channel members.